What's happening? Brian Tong here, and welcome to Googlelicious for all the Google that we can pack inside of a show. We're still waiting for the official release date for Google's new Nexus goodies, but according to Bright Side of News, the long rumored HTC built Nexus 9 will be unveiled on October the 15th and will go on sale November the 3rd. Now, it's a convenient time to squeeze in an announcement with Apple's iPad event happening on the 16th and Samsung's Galaxy Note 4 releasing on the 17th, if true. Now, the Wall Street Journal is also piggybacking off of what everyone has been talking about the past few weeks with the Nexus 6 Super Phablet coming sometime this month as well. And just a side note, with Google Plus and an actual improvement I like is the ability to add interactive polls to your posts now thanks to the acquisition of Polar, one of my favorite apps. Now, you're limited to five choices and it's sleek, but it's kind of a waste that they're limiting this to just Google+. Plus. All right, iHeartRadio is bringing support to Android Wear with an app of its own on October the 15th, supporting all current Android Wear devices, including voice search, favorites, and a thumbs up and thumbs down feedback system. This may not be as official, but you can also play Game Boy Color games on your Android Wear device too. Check it out, Corbin Davenport shows it off using his Galaxy Gear Live paired with a MOGA controller to run the emulator, including games like Tetris and Super Mario Brothers. Little games on your watch. I'm not sure how often you'd actually use this, but I love the work he did to get it done. And let's not leave the Chromecast out of the fun. A new Kickstarter that's only asking for 1600 bucks is looking to turn the Chromecast into a multiplayer games platform. Now, their first planned app is called Buzzbee, and it's a quiz game for the casual user that will incorporate YouTube videos, web images, and SoundCloud audio, and you'll use your phone to interact with it. Now, it's their first step, but really a cool way of adding to the Chromecast ecosystem. All right, tons of Android gadgets are dropping in October. Motorola and Verizon finally pushed out their official sneak peek of the Droid Turbo with its 5.2 QHD display to be released later this month. Sleek and yes, very red. Also, at HTC's recent double exposure event, they revealed the new HTC Desire Eye that features dual 13 megapixel cameras, one on the front and one on the back, and it's also water resistant, so really, it's the ultimate selfie cam. Plus, the official unveil of their GoPro light camera called the Re that can capture 16 megapixel still shots, 1080p video, and allows you to stream live from YouTube through your phone. Now, it looks a lot like an inhaler, but even better, use it in a pool to look like a human submarine. Now, both products are expected in time for this holiday season. And we know Lenovo has been working closely with Ashton Kutcher to give his input as one of their product engineers. He has a proven tech-savvy background, investing in multiple successful startups like Skype, Airbnb, and Path, and he studied biochemical engineering in college, so yeah, he's pretty legit. Now, the results of his efforts and the team at Lenovo has resulted in the Yoga Tablet 2 Pro, the successor to one of CNET's favorite versatile tablets. Now, this one runs Android 4.4, features a 13-inch QAC display with this neato hanging hinge system, 32 gigs of storage, 15 hours of battery life, and it's the first tablet with a built-in Pico projector, so truly one of the innovative tablet entries we've seen to date, starting at $4.99 and available the end of October, and really, it's worth checking out. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can always email us at googlicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong, and I'll respond when I'm not looking for comics on eBay. All right, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time for some more of that Googlicious. Google